Developing at 11, the suspension bridge will be closed for months. That as we're learning a little bit more now about the crash that shut it down. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. The Roebling Bridge will not reopen to vehicle and pedestrians until after Memorial Day. And police say the taxi driver who smashed into the bridge shouldn't have been driving around with paying customers at all. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly is looking into all of this tonight. What would you find, Kristen? Yeah, good evening, Tiny. Well, the crash damaged a steel structure added for extra strength, so the work done to repair it will have to be done very carefully. Meanwhile, the people who rely on the Roebling suspension bridge tell us this crash and subsequent closure could not have come at a worse time. Honestly, like when I heard about it, I was really surprised. For Garrett McDonald, the Roebling Bridge is the ingredient that connects work and home. I usually cut through downtown, get rid of all that uh, highway traffic. But like the 8,000 drivers who cross every day, he'll need to cook up a new route. I'm in the middle of nine kids in my family. It will affect every single one of us. Covington police say a bootleg cab driver crashed into the bridge, running away and leaving a pregnant woman and another passenger behind. That's waking up earlier, getting ready, and then having to deal with traffic. And and it's bad for business, especially this week. Opening days this Thursday. A lot of Reds fans are in this area and um, a lot of them will like kind of come around here and then go across the bridge. And so now a lot of them are probably going to be going through Newport and kind of avoiding this area. How terrible is that? You know, it's really unfortunate. Covington's mayor knows just how important the bridge is to businesses, but he understands the work can't wait. Unfortunately, it is the only bridge between the two states that is uh, fracture critical. And let's face it, it's a unique design and uh, any element that needs to be repaired or replaced is going to take uh, special fabrication. And the driver of that bootleg cab is not in custody. The woman, that pregnant woman inside the car was transported just to be checked out, but there is no exact word on her medical condition. In the meantime, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is awaiting a proposal from a consultant. They do expect that next week. Reporting live in Covington this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.